Hi, you've clicked onto the Tropical Tip for Wednesday evening, August 30th. As always, the thoughts in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please consult the National Hurricane Center and the National Weather Service. Well, this is what is left of Harvey here. A very unfortunate disaster as this storm has been over Texas and now Louisiana for five days since landfall and has brought over 50 inches of rain to some spots in the Houston area and through southwestern. Louisiana. This continues to dump rainfall in parts of Louisiana and eastern Texas today, and the system is finally beginning to lift out into a different part of the country. Uh, thoughts and prayers continue to be with all the victims in this region, and I wish everyone a speedy recovery from this very unfortunate storm. As we continue to look throughout the tropics today, uh, one more thing to watch in the Gulf of Mexico potentially uh, during the next few days. The NHC has highlighted this area of the Gulf of Mexico for a low chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next five days. Uh, this is essentially, uh, you can kind of see what's going on already here. There's Harvey and there's this sort of tail that you see extending down here. This is a boundary between uh, dry air to the west, moist air to the east, and this boundary is sort of in between. Harvey is now part of a larger scale trough which is continuing to draw moist air up into the southwestern Gulf of Mexico and so an area of low pressure may eventually form here very slowly and perhaps fester over the next few days and there would be potential for this to eventually spin up into some sort of storm but uh, it would not likely be fast to occur and it may not form at all but it's something to keep an eye on as some models have hinted at a storm eventually forming here. But as you can see from this picture, there's not a lot going on at the moment. No imminent threat, and really too soon to say if anything were to form where it would go here. Um, and so this is not an imminent worry, but something to keep a wary eye on over the next few days. The big story in the tropics here post Harvey is going to be Irma, which has formed today way out there in the eastern Atlantic, just west of the Cabo Verde Islands. This was named a tropical storm this morning and is already strengthening with some earnesty here. It already has winds of 60 miles per hour. This is the close-up shot. And uh, you can see the, the clear rotation here, very symmetric looking storm uh, with a healthy circulation and good conditions with low shear and abnormal moisture. You can see the dry uh, Saharan air layer slash subtropical Atlantic air coming in on this side. That's almost always going to be the case, but we can see a nice moisture envelope within which Irma is embedded and is currently not suffering from any dry air issues. In addition, the microwave pass from uh, about noon, or rather 4 p.m. Eastern time today, shows this structure, which is very healthy looking. Uh, this has a, an inner core structure evident on this pass, showing essentially low level convection and heavy rainfall. And uh, you can see even some semblance of uh, maybe a formative eyewall in this pass. And uh, this is a healthy structure that indicates we could see substantial strengthening of Irma in the short term, and uh, this could be a hurricane in pretty short order. The one limiting factor in the short term is uh, the ocean temperature. Irma is currently somewhere around here uh, with sea surface temperatures of 28 to even 29 degrees Celsius, very nearby if not just to its south here. But the system will be tracking west-northwestward over the next couple of days and ending up in this region here which has cooler waters by a degree or two of 27-ish degrees Celsius. Uh, this could still easily be a hurricane here, but it limits the upper ceiling of intensity. Um, however, the theoretical limit is still around Category 3, so we could still see a lot of strengthening from this, but it's likely it will be capped somewhat by the cooler ocean water under it. However, as it journeys farther west, you can see obviously the, the other part of the Atlantic and the central and western part of the basin is much warmer, and eventually uh, that will no longer be a limitation on Irma. We are likely to see strengthening over the next few days regardless of this, and again, Herma could be a hurricane very soon. Now, as this is likely to become a powerful hurricane at some point in its life, given the favorable time of year and the conditions ahead of it, of course, uh, the big question is where is it going to go? Now, this is the GFS Day 3 forecast at the 500 millibar level for Saturday afternoon. This is Irma, and uh, this storm is already pretty far north, and usually storms this far north, this far east, uh, they usually recurve uh, into the open Atlantic uh, with no problems to land, given how far north they are already. However, it's not as clear-cut in this particular case with Irma, largely because of this ridge that you see here, this west-southwest to east-northeast oriented ridge across the Atlantic, and the flow around these ridges is clockwise, so you have northeast to southwest flow here, which would try to push the hurricane back toward the south and more toward the Caribbean islands over time. And some models do, do have that forecast, uh, namely the European. 
However, the fly in the ointment is this upper level cutoff low here to the northwest of Irma. This weakens this portion of the ridge such that the southwestern motion is not as clear cut. It's possible this upper low could provide enough of a weakness that uh, Irma's southwest movement is interrupted and it begins to turn back toward the north quicker and avoid the Lesser Antilles and any Caribbean islands. And that could easily occur, and some models like the GFS show that solution. And uh, this is not at all a clear cut forecast at this point. And uh, keep in mind, this is pretty far from the Lesser Antilles. This is the day five forecast from the GFS, and you see how far away it still is here with the Lesser Antilles here. Uh, this is a full week from being anywhere near the islands, uh, even if it is going to move toward them. And uh, there's a lot of uncertainty at day five and beyond in the forecast and the relative position of this storm, how strong it is in the upper low to its northwest and the ridge are all questions that are not going to be answered with 100% accuracy at this time. And so if you're asking uh, what kind of threat is there to the islands, the answer is we don't really know for sure, but it's something to start watching because it is within a week's time frame and some models do show this getting close enough to threaten the islands. So it's worth keeping an eye on the forecast and making sure you have a hurricane plan ready just in case, uh, but it's not worth getting super worried about yet until we know for sure whether it's going to be a threat or not. And hopefully in a couple of days, two or three days, we'll have a much better idea of whether that's the case. Forecasts are going to be changing back and forth during that time, and uh, it's not worth fretting about too much at the day seven range, too much uncertainty. Uh, by day seven, uh, you can see that on this particular run of the GFS, it does indeed avoid the islands. And of course, uh, folks here in the United States are going to be wondering, is this a threat to us as well? And folks in the Bahamas too. And again, this is long range stuff. Uh, it's not really worth speculating about at this time. You can see that a big trough is forecast to be in the eastern United States between days seven and, and nine. And a lot of models agree on this trough being here, so it likely will be. And that will usually promote recurvature, at which case Bermuda would perhaps have to worry about it. But, uh, you know, these things are, are fickle. Th these troughs can lift out, these ridges can build back in and storms can end up being a threat to the United States regardless. It's all about timing, and it's something that we can't forecast well beyond a few days out. And so again, this is all speculation at this point, and it's not worth getting worried about in the United States or the Bahamas yet, as this is a week to 10 days away from being any kind of concern. Uh, something just to, to kind of keep an eye on. It's in the tropics, it's gonna be a big hurricane, but look at how far away it is. Uh, it's gonna take a long time for it to become a threat to anybody, so we have plenty of time to watch this, uh, but likely to strengthen as it moves generally westward. And again, in a few days, we will likely know whether it's a substantial threat to the Lesser Antilles of the Caribbean. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.